the E39 coastal highway route. The ambition of the Norwegian Parliament is to tie together an entire region of Western Norway through an improved and continuous E39 coastal highway without ferries between the cities of Kristiansand and Trondheim. It will be of significant value to have more and larger continuous residential, service and labour markets along the coast. The route is 1100 kilometres long. It runs through six counties and today it includes seven ferry connections. Travel time will be shortened from around 21 hours to around 11 hours. The new road will provide more efficient transport, improved road standards and more traffic safety. Bare de bygger her av Kjersti. Her skal vi bygge Norges største veianlegg. Det heter Ferjefri E39 og det skal vi bygge for at det skal bli fine veier å kjøre på når du blir voksen. Og der skal vi bygge brua og sånn som går både over og under vann. Skal vi ta en titt? Rogfast, north of Stavanger. The E39 Rogfast project will tie Stavanger and Haugesen more closely together and involves crossing the Bognafjord by a subsea road tunnel. The lowest point in the tunnel will be about 390 meters below sea level. Safety is ensured by emergency exits between the tunnels. In connection with these exits, there are emergency laybys with emergency telephones and camera surveillance. Björnafjorden, between Stavanger and Bergen, is more than 5 kilometers wide and almost 600 meters deep and demanding to cross. A possible solution may be an end-anchored floating bridge. The bridge is anchored on land on both sides and arches across the fjord. Sulafjorden lies on the route between Volda and Olesen. A bridge would be up to 4 kilometers long and the fjord is almost 400 meters deep. Possible solutions here may include a multi-span suspension bridge with one tower anchored to the seabed and two towers near land on both sides. Or a submerged floating tube bridge suspended in mid-water. Romsdalsfjorden, on the route between Orlesen and Molde, is about 21 kilometers long. The plan is to tie the two towns more closely together by building a 16-kilometer subsea tunnel and a 2-kilometer long suspension bridge. Safety is a key issue, and there will be emergency exits between the tunnels and emergency laybys with emergency telephones and camera surveillance. This will make it one of the safest subsea tunnels in the world. Impacts on climate and environment will of course also be taken into consideration. Greenhouse gas emissions are to be reduced also within the transport sector. The construction of roads and bridges will entail major interventions in the beautiful and valuable nature of Western Norway and has to be carried out with the greatest possible consideration and care. What do you think about this project, Henrik? This is be cool. This is the largest transport project ever carried out in Norway, and the project will provide great benefits for society, regionally, as well as nationally. We are already well underway. We have the competence, we have the solutions, and we know that it is possible to make this happen.